Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. In this second of five videos on diffusion, we look at a model of Fikin diffusion so you can see what happens with distance across the barrier and with time. So what do we have? We have a thickness of the barrier of L. We have a concentration, volume fraction, at one side. And although this is 0.2, we always show it as 100% of the original concentration, in this case 0.2. We have a diffusion coefficient of 1 times 10 to the minus 8, and we're interested in a time of 30 minutes. And when we press the calculating button, we see that after 30 minutes, we have this concentration gradient across the barrier. Not surprisingly, it's got essentially 0 on one side and 100% at the other side. And we find that the concentration in the barrier itself goes from 0, because we start off with none in the barrier, up to this 50%. So it's half full because it's 100% full at one side and empty at the other side, so it's half full. So that is filling the barrier with material. And here we're looking at the flux, the amount of stuff coming out per unit time. And obviously for the first while, nothing comes out because it takes time for the material to get through. We'll show that in a moment. And then it builds up. And then after time, you get a steady state because once you have this equilibrium, you get a steady flux coming through. If we go to shorter times, then we see there's a bend in this flux. And if we go to really short time, we see that there's still the 100% of the left-hand side, but there's nothing there because nothing's had any time to come through. And you get this uh, concentration gradient. Going back to the 30 minutes, this is looking at it in absorption with the right-hand side open. So whatever comes this side just disappears. If we block it, then we rerun it, then, of course, nothing comes through, but we see the concentration builds up steadily, so we need more than 32 minutes. After 50 minutes, we're getting pretty close. And the half time is eight minutes, so it takes eight minutes to half fill this. You can also do it in desorption, so it starts off with 100%, that's still this 0.2 volume fraction, and decreases with time. And this is the rate, with simple numerics you get this noise in it, this is the rate at which stuff comes out. So a powerful modeler, and you can explore many things. For example, let's go back to absorption, the familiar curve. If we go to a more crystalline polymer, then its diffusion coefficient might be 1 times 10 to the minus 9 instead of 1 times 10 to the minus 8. And of course, we have a big difference in the amount that gets through. Enjoy playing with the modeler to get a feel for what this basic Fikin diffusion can do.